All right, hello everyone and welcome to a brand new season in Zero to Hero. Obviously, it's going to be our second season as a professional footballer, the 2019 season, um, January 2019. The January transfer window is open and we've lost a key player uh, in this uh, winter transfer window um, because the Japanese league is a little bit different. It ends in January rather than starts at the same time as like the Premier League and you know, the Spanish League. Uh, but anyways, um, no transfer offers had come in for us, so we were still stuck with uh, Vivar and Nagasaki. And going into this new season, away at home against Sagan Tosu, um, six minutes in, Fernando Torres scored against us. You know, so <laughs> early signs weren't good. Um, and believe it or not, just a couple of minutes later, he was then through on goal and made it 2-0. Um, you know, and I was still on the bench, and it almost at this point, you know, all I could really do was watch from afar and think to myself, for goodness sakes, here we go again. Um, uh, anyways, 35 minutes in, uh, Suzuki is in on goal and gets the equaliser. Not the equaliser, sorry, makes it 2-1, but the way that uh, Pez obviously makes him celebrate, you'd think he'd score the equaliser, rather than have him pick up the ball and run back to the, uh, to the centre circle. Um, but yeah, just to explain a couple of things, um, I am open to the idea of leaving Vivar and Nagasaki this window. I know a couple of people um, suggested uh, in the last episode, which was the last episode of the last season, that I should probably look to leave. Um, but uh, I'm not really one for transfer requests unless I really, really, really feel the need to. Um, and, and right now, my main concern is that we haven't even broken into the first team here in the Japanese league. There's Fernando Torres' hat trick. Um, uh, he always seems to score against us, but then again, he's one of the best strikers in the league. Uh, but yeah, we haven't even broken into the first team yet here in the Japanese league. So what makes me think I can go to the championship or some other stronger league um, and break into the first team there? So uh, yeah, um, plus when we're probably good enough, we'll probably have teams coming in for us. But anyways, we got subbed on as a right midfielder. That was a real nice cross from me. Um, uh, unfortunately though it was saved by the goalkeeper we then proceeded to hit the post um, uh, and then I'm not really quite sure what happened here in the 89th minute I tried to clear the ball my teammate got in the way and uh, you can probably guess what happened next we went from potentially making it 3-2 and you know finding a way back in the game for us to conceding yet another goal um, for Kuta, his name, depending how you read it, really, it kind of just rubs salt in the wounds. Um, but yeah, hopefully that kind of explains my situation with Viran and Nagasaki right now. Um, 93rd minute, nice through ball from me. Um, uh, I have a shot, but it gets saved by the goalkeeper. It was the last kick of the game. Uh, if a club happens to come in for me um, in this particular transfer window, again, because we're pretty young, rating of 5.0 there, um, then I might consider it. Otherwise, I'm young it's probably too early for me to start submitting transfer requests, but we'll see what happens because the transfer window's only just opened. But anyways, our first home game of the 2019-2020 season was up against Consadole Sapporo, and, uh, you know, really a minute in, they should have taken the lead there, as we saw. Marilla, six minutes in, shoots wide, um, and then... Uh, uh, both teams really just had chances left, right and centre. And then on the 29th minute, uh, Marilla 1-1 one -on -one really with the goalkeeper. A bit of a tight angle. It was a good save from the goalkeeper. But I've noticed recently, especially this season, we've had a lot of opportunities like that where we shoot um, at goal and it gets parried by the opposition goalkeeper. But then there's no one in the box to get on the end of it, uh, which is really quite frustrating as well. I've noticed it happen a lot from my crosses uh, when our strikers try to get on the end of them in the box. But anyways, we got subbed on at half time as a defensive midfielder. And um, yeah, I played uh, that lad through. It was a Kevin De Bruyne-esque pass once again from yours truly. Uh, but then I think Suzuki just wasn't able to... Uh, get the finish from that tight angle 65th minute outside of the box volley from me saved as you'd expect by the goalkeeper and then uh, cometh the hour cometh the man i did well to keep the ball in and got a bit of a semi-assist you know i'm not sure if a semi-assist is a thing but really it's the guy that plays the pass to the assister no doubt a key pass that one and, you know, with 10 minutes to go, you'd think we would be able to hold on to, to the lead. Um, but, unfortunately, I've got to 
you know, hold my hands up there and admit that I should have probably done a little bit better there. You know, winning that ball, not letting that player win that second ball from uh, from the throwing that came in. But again, me behind a controller, there's only so much <laughs> I can do to an extent. Um, and Jay Bothroyd, who I had no idea played in Japan, um, yeah, got the equaliser. But anyways, good save from our goalkeeper. Uh, and we got a point at the end of the day. And we got a slightly improved rating of 6.5. Last day of the transfer window. You know, transfer deadline day. Is anyone going to come in for us? Unfortunately, the answer was no. Which means we're stuck... Um, with uh, Vivara and Nagasaki for at least another couple of months. But it's not also necessarily a bad thing because, you know, if we can get a run in the team, when we move next, it'll actually be moving into a new season because obviously we're in January right now, which means our kind of mid-season transfer window will be the end of transfer window for like England and Spain and so on. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, I'll tell you what doesn't make sense. It's Douglas giving uh, Shimizu Pulse, who are a team I'm really hungry for revenge from, given that uh, I think they survived relegation last season, scoring in the uh, second minute. And then, of course, we get to kick off straight from their goal, and I, I, don't, I don't know what we're doing, really. Um, you know, uh, I also forgot to mention the fact that we're actually starting a game, <laughs> um, which was nice to see, and I had a funny feeling that this might start to happen slowly, especially when we're as bad as, as we are. Um, but, you know, seven minutes in, 2 nil down, it was always going to be an uphill struggle. Uh, some people will be looking at this as well, because I know some people have mentioned it in comments of previous videos, saying, oh, you should move to another team because, you know, the, the, the tactics that Vivar and Nagasaki have set are really frustrating. Um, I 100% agree. Um, it turns out that uh, your manager won't change by itself. So I tried going into edit mode, changing the name of our manager and changing the team's tactic hoping that that would affect the become a legend um, and whilst it has changed uh, the name of our manager it hasn't changed our tactics so we're stuck with this 3-5-2 thing in my bob but anyways who cares when I'm playing passes like that what a pass that was from me finally Suzuki finding the back of the net me and him really forming a decent partnerships because I'm on the right hand side and he has that pace to kind of beat the offside trap and the other team is setting out I've got no idea how this hit the back of the net um but yeah, and it means that he makes good runs for me to be able to play through balls in behind the opposition defence for him. Because um, I'm probably one of the most technical players within this side. Um, so uh, yeah, it was a nice pass from uh, from myself. I feel so self-centred complimenting myself. But anyways, I went on a bit of a nice run here. Ball uh, kind of levitated into the box, but no one to get on the end of it. And uh, yeah, nice through ball from me, but it gets cleared. Uh, but, you know, ultimately it does seem a little bit same old story. We're conceding far too many goals. I do feel like we're creating more chances on goal when I'm playing. Um, I, I definitely notice that contrast, not just like right now when I'm starting games, but also the impact I kind of make coming off the bench. We go on a bit of a run here, but then kind of get squished between a rock and quite literally a very hard defender. <laughs> and just before half time looking to really try and make it 4-2 once again I spoke about the dream team of me and Suzuki that link up play happened and not only did it mean that we'd scored two goals and that Suzuki had obviously scored two goals but it meant that on the back of the two goals I also had two assists to my name uh, you know and we'd not even reached half time yet uh, so, you know, buzzing really for me. Because I say coming into this season, I not only want to start more games in terms of like, you know, footballers always say they set themselves goals going into seasons. I want to start more games, but obviously I want to better the number of goals and assists that we got in the last season as well. Uh, and we finished in team of the season last season too. So really, I'd love to finish in team of the season um, this season as well. And if we can get in a state where we're constantly starting games because we're playing well, then I would totally, totally have my eyes open for that kind of top assist spot. Um, but anyways, I'm not quite sure what happened there. Again, same old defence. I'm really sick and tired of speaking of it, uh, about our defence now, guys. Um, yeah, nice bit of footwork from me there. Uh, I think I kind of mentioned in one of the comments previously that I think it's, it's just the match engine is a bit broke. When it comes to the formation that this team happened to play with no fullbacks. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. Anyways, uh, Marilla made it 4 3. 
uh, this time it wasn't me and Suzuki, the dream team. It was, uh, of course, Marilla. Uh, 81st minute, whipped the ball in on my left foot towards the head of Marilla, and it was a lovely save from the opposition goalkeeper. And from this point, really, I tried to play a through ball in. A little bit rushed, a little bit panicked because it was a 92nd minute, but unfortunately it meant another game lost. Um, 8.5 rating for me personally, but it means we've only, as a team, managed one point in three games so far this season. I'll see you next time.